Hi, welcome to my channel, The Divine Storm 369 Tarot and Oracle. Thank you for joining me. This is a reading that is all about karma for the karmic. Okay, so we are going to take a look into a deeper look actually into the karma that is heading in the way of the karmic energies. This is for all karmic energies, okay, whether they are masculine, feminine, um, ex-people, current people, family members, part ex-partners, current partners, whatever it is, okay, um, that is what we're looking for. And this is a general reading, so I am reading for the collective um, consciousness right now. Information for personal readings are always down below each video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the karma for the karmics. Okay, Saturn is really active right now, and I definitely feel that he is bringing in karma that is very swift. Okay, it is hitting people very, very hard. This is like one of the hardest hitting Saturn transits that I have seen people go through. Okay, um, it is this transit is no joke. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the karma for the karmic, and I will be doing more of these karma readings. Okay, so I can do one for the twin flames, for the divine feminine. We'll take a look at all of that, and the reason why I'm doing that right now is because of the activities of Saturn and just what I've been witnessing, um, you know, in the collective is that it this transit is no joke and it is rocking people's world who is getting hit by it okay so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in this is the karmic's karma whoever that may be to you all right so and this is the energy that the transits are bringing in right now all right so keep that in mind oh wow look at that we already have one that jump out we got healing in reverse Okay, so with this card, this is healing that cannot take place. This is like a wound that is just festering, that is infected, that just continues to fester, okay? Never healing. It is a wound that cannot be healed. I'm also seeing alcohol, okay? Someone's karmic is drowning this wound in alcohol, okay? Drinking alcohol, getting drunk to numb the pain, to numb whatever this wound is because they cannot heal, okay? They're having a very hard time healing. All right. So there could also be an addiction situation, and I'm seeing alcohol specifically, okay? And this is to cover up... Um, the fact that they are very hurt, okay? So this karmic that I'm reading for, the karmic collective is extremely hurt, but no one sees their hurt, okay? They cover it up with alcohol, with drunkenness, okay? So this karmic is seen as a drunk, <laughs> is what I'm getting here. They're literally seen as a drunk, okay? Um, we got another card. Okay, we got lunar eclipse change in reverse and this is a number seven okay so with lunar eclipse change in reverse um this is signifying that they desperately want to heal with the moon this is feelings this could be emotions that are connected to their femininity with the moon it could be emotions that are connected to their mother okay with the moon as well um, but it's like they're desperately trying to heal those emotions and desperately trying to get those emotions to change. The moon represents your emotions and your mental energy and to no avail, okay, to no avail because they're not going about the healing in the right way is what spirit is telling me. And the reason why they aren't going about it in the right way is because the karmic collective right now is really struggling with their willpower, okay? Um, so I feel like this is like a broken will, um, having no willpower, having no willpower to change. The number seven is about perseverance, okay? And this karmic, the karmic collective cannot handle 
perseverance right now. So I feel like they give up really easily. Um, that's what I'm feeling. They desperately want change, but they do not have the willpower to bring that change about. And knowing that the change starts within, it starts mentally, it starts emotionally, and this karmic is very wounded mentally and emotionally, and they hide that with alcohol. Okay, so again, that change that they really desperately want, not being able to take fruition, not being able to manifest, come into form. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Karma for the karmic, whoever that may be to you. All right, we have the two of swords. So with the two of swords, this is Gemini energy. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling that something has happened during the last eclipse here. I feel like during the last eclipse, and I do, th I do believe it was um, in May. I think it was the beginning of Gemini season. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments because this is an important date. Okay. Um, I believe it was the beginning of Gemini season. Okay. And or maybe mid. Something happened here. There was a wound for the Karmic Collective that was ripped open. That is what I'm seeing. And with the Two of Swords, I feel like the Karmic Collective in some way is being blinded. Okay, is being blinded to something. I also, There's something they cannot see. And the reason why they cannot see it is because Spirit is blinding them from seeing it. This karmic is not able to communicate. They're having problems communicating, the karmic collective. So if you pay attention, all right, over at least the next two weeks, you are going to notice the karmic collective stumbling all over their words, not being able to express what they mean. Um, you will notice that some of them will be completely silent. You will notice that some of them, you won't see them at all. You will also notice that some of them will seem very off, very strange, and there will be like rumors going around that they are like drunk, things like that. With the Two of Swords here, yeah, they're not able to communicate properly, and you're going to witness that. There's going to be a change in the way they communicate, and there's going to be a change in the way that people see them. Notice the blindfold here. People will see them differently. Okay, so let's get another card. All right, so karma for the karmic energies. Karma for the karmic energies. Spirit, please reveal to me the karma for the karmic energies. And this energy is going to be taking place over the next two weeks. Okay, so we have cuffing season, finding winter's warmth. And to me, this is very cold behavior. People treating this karmic very cold. People seeing this karmic as kind of like aloof, strange, um, getting like bad vibes from them. So they're really keeping their distance. This karmic isn't getting warm welcomes, warm conversations, warm behaviors like they were from people in the past. People are looking at this karmic a little bit like they might be unstable uh, mentally, okay? I also feel like there's something going on with the karmic's hair. What Spirit is saying, if you notice this karmic, and this is true 
for a feminine or a masculine karmic if you notice this karmic is wearing a hat when it's very warm outside or they just start wearing a hat all of a sudden like all the time there's something going on with their hair okay that's what spirit is saying that they're losing their hair or something something is going on with their hair where they're trying to cover it where they're trying to hide it okay with a hat all right so yeah i have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck here look this is the bottom of the deck i just grabbed a few to show you also gemini so this could be um a lot of gemini karmic energies receiving this okay now let's go ahead and get some more cards yeah so um a lot of karmics that are gemini's um sun moon rising venus or jupiter spirit is saying um that's an extra clarifier there okay and this is also gemini to me um represents the twin flames as well so this is also karmics karma who are karmics to the twin flames okay and that collective all right we got spy watching investigating all right Let's see what else we have here and then we'll go ahead and look at take a deeper look at the cards okay we have the four pentacles in reverse so we have Taurus energy coming out now. We have senses. And let's go ahead and get a karmic card because after all, this is a karmic reading and a karma reading. So it would not be complete without a karma card, right? So let's go ahead and pull that. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. And I'm going to pull one more. All right, and we're going to look at this card um, last as well. Okay. We'll just set it right here. Okay, so we have spy, watching, investigating. Okay, this karmic or a lot of karmics in the karmic collective could be being investigated for past crimes that they thought they got away with, with healing in reverse, lunar eclipse in reverse, two of swords. They thought they got away with these, but they actually did not. They're actually being watched. They're actually being investigated for these crimes, even though they thought they had gotten away. The karmic collective senses are being dulled. Okay, so their psychic senses, their intuition, their sensitivity, um, their eyesight, their hearing, um, all of this is being dulled, is being lowered, okay, um, and that is karma. Because for a lot of these karmics, they have used their senses to hurt others, and so their senses have become very dulled, okay. For the Four of Pentacles in reverse, this karmic, I feel, or the karmic collective is like blowing through their savings. Um, these karmics, if they've had any savings, like in their bank account or whatever it is, they are blowing through it. They are spending through it. They cannot seem to save. They cannot seem to hold on to money. And their intuition is completely dulled. So it's like steering them in the wrong direction financially as well. Okay, so yeah, and with Four of Pentacles, that is Taurus energy, which is second house, and it's about what you own. I feel like a large part of the Karmic Collective is being investigated for theft, okay, for money that they've stolen, or something that they have stolen from someone's home. Okay, 
We also have another woman here. So for the karmic collective who has split up the twin flames, for a karmic collective who has uh, caused problems um, between the relationships of the twin flames, okay, they are going to experience what it's like to have another woman come into their relationship on them, okay, whatever that means for them. So these karmics are also experiencing jealousy as well. Okay, um, let's get some clarifiers here. You know, we really need some shadow cards. So jealousy, being investigated for crimes they thought they got away with in the past. Their intuition, their senses are really dulled, okay? They're not picking up on anything around them. Um, they are very... They're like arguing with everyone around them. They're not picking up on easy, simple cues. They're getting drunk. People are calling them a drunk. People are talking about them. Okay, let's, oh, look at these shadow cards coming out. All right, this is a karmic who likes to, or the karmic collective actually, that likes to label people. Okay, and put people into groups and categories and give them false attributes without knowing who they truly are. This is a kar karmic collective that will judge people on their looks, on their clothes, on what they have, um, on the, you know, whatever it is. And they are now being judged, okay, by the way they are interacting with the world, with the way they looked, because they're blind to their self. They're blind to the way they're coming off. In the collective, they're blind to the way they're coming off in their relationships and with other people. Spirit has blinded them to that. Spirit has dulled their senses to that. Okay, so now other people are looking at them, um, saying there's something not right. There's something that's changed. They're off in, you know, mentally. They're off emotionally. Um, they're drunk. They're a drunk. Stuff like that. There's also some gossip about this karmic being a thief in their past. So that's for someone specific here um, with that's being investigated for that. This karmic is also, again, they're getting physical symptoms for this karma. All right. Um, and I do feel like it is in the hair. There's something going on with their hair. Like, I don't know if they're losing hair. Their hair is falling out. Their hair is thinning. Whatever it is, there's something going on with their hair. And this is part of their karma. Okay. Um, people are also finally seeing how manipulative the karmic collective is. And it is because this karmic has always been so aware of themselves and the way they come across to others that they were always able to keep that act up. Okay, but spirit has dulled all their senses to where they are blind to themselves, to the way they are coming across to everyone else. And people are able to see just how manipulative they really are. Okay, this karmic has no self-esteem. Um, and people are talking about that. They're saying this karmic is manipulative and they have no self-esteem. Okay. For some in the collective, um, the karmics are actually going to catch their person with another woman. They're going to like catch them with another woman is what I'm seeing here. Um, they're going to be like cuddled up when the karmic catches them or sees them. They have totally lost like their ability and their intuition when it comes to money, when it comes to saving, when it comes to investing in the right place. It's like no matter what they do with their money, they're going to lose it. Self-absorbed. Okay, so this karmic is just going to continue to become more and more self-absorbed because the more their senses are dulled, the more they're going to become more and more into their self, more self-absorbed, trying to get in touch with their self, trying to feel those senses, 
right? And it's it, the more they do this, the more those senses will become dulled, okay? And yet, for, for a lot of you, this karmic, the karmic collective is going to catch whoever they're with. So whether it's catching a twin flame with their divine feminine, I feel like for a lot of you, that's what it is. We have the world here. Archangel Michael. Oh my gosh. Archangel Michael out here again, bringing the karma to the karmic. What I tell you guys, remember the last reading we did? I told you guys that. It came out in the cards and it is being said again. Archangel Michael is here to remind you that he is actually bringing this karma, okay, with his sword of truth and justice. So this is the world. All right, so this is bringing karmic balance back to the world, at least a semblance of it. And Archangel Michael is promising, okay, promising that everything has come full circle. And that's why the karmics are receiving their karma now. Archangel Michael is also saying this is not to hurt the karmic. This is not to punish the karmic. This is for spiritual growth. This is for insight into themselves. Okay, Archangel Michael is also promising a very happy ending for everyone involved in the situation. And with the world, again, this is like coming full circle. Okay, and listen, Saturn, Saturn takes notes. Saturn keeps score if anybody is the karma keeper, okay, keeping score, it is Saturn, okay, and that karma can go way back, it really can, it just depends on the transit and how it affects you personally and your chart, for a lot of people, they are being affected very heavily right now, okay, um, but Archangel Michael is here to say it is for spiritual growth. It is for insight. It is for enlightenment. It is for change. All right. It is not to punish anyone. Um, Archangel Michael is also insisting, okay, like really insisting and really wants it to be known that they are with the divine collective. They are with the twin flame con collective, the divine feminines, the divine masculine, and they are protecting them. Um, insisting that there will be divine justice, okay, balance, things set right energetically. Um, so that's a beautiful message that's coming out, really. And I definitely think there's some people out there that really need to hear that, okay. So very interesting here. Let's go ahead and pull an, a card, okay, and see how this is going to affect the karmic relationships, how this transit, this energy is affecting the karmic relationships. Well, I can tell you they're not able to heal. I can tell you that a lot of these karmics have been promising to change, to change their behavior, change the way they speak change the way they talk, they communicate, um, and they are not able to. They are not able to, okay? Um, so there's an awareness of that. But let's take a look at the karma for the karmic relationships. We got enchantment, okay? So again, with enchantment, I feel like for... A lot of karmics, okay, their person or their divine mas or the divine masculine, right? Your divine masculine, but this is the karmic we're reading for. Their person is enchanted by somebody else, by another woman, okay? Um, I'm definitely seeing that a lot of karmics are going to be catching their person with another person, all right? I'm feeling that. And I'm seeing the hair, you guys. I'm seeing the hair. Something's going on with the hair of the car mix. Okay, I'm telling you. Let's get another card here. So how will the karma affect the karmic relationship? Okay. 
Okay, look at that Saturn return. Look at that. All about Saturn and the karma, right? Bringing the karma, bringing that scoreboard with them. Okay, that's what Saturn's doing. And I'm seeing the number 50. Okay, so that might be significant to someone. I think these karmics are really feeling their age. Okay, um, for a lot of them, they are physically aging. Okay, physically aging. Um, and I'm just seeing hair. Like, I don't know if a lot of karmics are losing their hair, but there's also other... Um, aging signs as well because we have physical symptoms here so these karmics are aging under their eyes around their eyes as well I, I just see them looking in the mirror and seeing lines under their eyes on the sides of their eyes that they've never seen before and that's actually normal right it's okay but I feel that for the karmic collective they're noticing a lot all at once okay that they are aging extremely quickly is what I'm getting with enchantment and Saturn return age. Okay. And this is part of their karma. I also feel like the karmics are, they have like obsessive behaviors right now. They're becoming obsessed with things that they think will help their situation or relationship that is not helpful. Okay. But their senses and their intuition is so dulled that they can't even tell that it's not helpful, okay? All right, we have the seven of wands. So again, we have the seven, okay, about willpower, persistence. Their willpower is broken, okay, and they are realizing that. Their shield of protection is broken. Any karmics that were doing spell work, okay, on anyone else, they are not protected. Their shield is broken, Okay, um, and Saturn is the one breaking it. Okay, but yeah, this is their willpower. This is their perseverance. They have none. Okay, they have none. They have no ambition. They have no motivation. All right, and again, they are not protected. There's a lot of physical um, traits. They feel like the world is attacking them or coming at them right now in some way. And for some karmics, they could be injured right now. So I'm seeing a head injury. Okay. So this could be um, actually like a mental illness. It doesn't even have to be a physical injury. Okay. But that's what I'm seeing. So I think that, the, you know, the karmic relationships, you know, their partners looking at them. Like, like there's something going on upstairs, that there's something not right. They're also looking at them and thinking like, wow, you've really, ate, you're aging really quickly. Like their partner is noticing this. Okay. Um, and again, there's like nothing wrong with aging. It's a beautiful thing. Every year that we have another year on this earth, it means that, you know, it's something to celebrate and it means that you're a year wiser you know what I mean? And so there's absolutely nothing wrong with aging, but it can be like shocking if somebody just like aged really quickly all at once within the span of like a couple weeks or month, right? That would be kind of shocking. And that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. So I'm seeing over the process of like seven weeks, they're going to extremely age. Okay. They're aging themselves. We got ritual. Okay, so that's specifically for karmics who are doing rituals, who are doing spell work on people, um, especially the divine feminine. Okay, for those karmics, they are aging extremely quickly. Like, and their person's going to notice. They're going to wake up, look at them one day, and just gasp. Like, oh my gosh, I, I never realized that you're like, you look like you're, you know, 20 years older now. How, how did this happen? That's the energy I'm seeing, like all of a sudden, okay, like that. All right, so let's get another card here. 
All right, so we have rejection, loss, and fragmented. So notice that her face, like it looks like half of her face is like wrinkling up, drying up. So yeah, this is like a loss of beauty, a loss of um, physical traits, feeling rejected, feeling at a loss. Okay, um, definitely feeling rejected, feeling at a loss. They will be rejected by their partner and it's going to be because of their looks, but also because it's like they're going to experience their partner being totally enchanted by another woman or another person. Okay. So that's a horrible, horrible energy, a horrible, horrible thing to experience. Okay, um, let's get another card here, but that's what karma they have here. Okay, let's get another card for the relationship. So there could be breakups, a loss in the relationship, okay, during this time. We got six of wands in reverse, not feeling appreciated, not feeling seen, not feeling recognized, not feeling attractive, not feeling like their person is attracted to them. Um, it's like their partners are not paying any attention to them at all. And it's like they're questioning if they see them, if they recognize them, if um, they're attracted to them. We got seven of cups. There is no other options for this karmic. Okay. Um. It's like the feeling of wanting to be on the rebound because you're hurt, because you caught your person with someone else, because that's what's going to happen. Wanting to be on the rebound, but not being able to because you don't have any options, because everybody sees a karmic as like a drunk person or, you know what I mean, something like that. So they like have no other options. People are talking about this karmic, saying they're manipulative, okay? There's no other options. There's no one that actually wants to date this karmic. That was too many or else I would have kept it. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. But, you know, with the Seven of Cups, this is the illusion slowly being exposed to this karmic. All right. And, you know, they're, it's going to be exposed through other people, okay? When people talk about this karmic and say they're manipulative, it's because they are manipulative. Um, when people talk about this karmic, you know, and say that they have no empathy, it's because they don't show any empathy, okay? Um, when people say that this karmic is impatient with others, it's because they are, okay? And I think the universe wants this karmic to hear that, to see that, and to feel that in their heart and know that that's why there's no other options, okay? Um, spirit really wants this karmic to go within. Again, this is about spiritual growth and insight. It is not about punishment ever. You know, Saturn does not punish, okay? Saturn does not punish. Saturn simply sets balance, okay? So if you have been doing all kinds of karmic shit, Saturn is going to come and give you a little bit of karma to set the balance, okay? If you have been doing all kinds of good stuff, Saturn is going to come and, you know, return that to you because it is about balance with Saturn, okay? It's about fairness with Saturn. So let's go ahead and get a card for senses, We got true love, all right? So with their senses being dulled, they do not feel loved, okay? Um, they're, and I think that for the karmic collective, this is a realization or a feeling that the love that they thought was true was only an illusion, okay? It was just an illusion. It was them being egotistical, lying to themselves, okay? Um, and, and that can be a hard truth to swallow, um, and I think for some karmics, their person is going to confess to them, I'm actually in love with this other person that you caught me with. I actually am in love with them and it's true love. Okay. So for some of these karmics, that's what's going to be the karma for them. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing. So let's get two more cards.
Okay, so we have selfish, moody, childish, and petty. So, you know, Saturn is saying this is the karmic's karma for being selfish, for being childish, for being petty, for hurting others, okay, for doing spell work, for doing rituals, for lying to people, okay, for um, intruding on twin flame relationships. This is the karma for that, okay? So, this karma is going to, this karmic is going to experience just a tiny bit, just a little bit of what they caused the divine feminine to feel. And that is balance. It's not about payback. It's not about getting even. It's simply about balance. That's it. And so this karmic must experience, okay, the pain that the divine feminine has felt. In order to set balance. Alright, so let's get one more card. We got the Five of Raphael. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, it's not to punish. Again. It is not to get revenge or payback. That is not the way the universe works. That is not the way that Saturn works. But everything does happen for a divine reason. Okay? I think that this karmic is meant to feel regret when they have no empathy before. I think they are meant to feel a deep regret, a deep loss. Okay? In order to know what they have done to others. And I think they're meant to come to a place where they can try to release that regret, that loss, okay? This is a karmic who's going to have to search for the silver lining during this transit because it's going to feel like there isn't one for the karmic collective that I'm reading for right now, okay? There is opportunities to um, be happy. There is opportunities, but you have to do the shadow work. You have to show remorse, show regret in order to, and feel the regret, right? In order to release it and for the karmics who are narcissists or just unempathetic, they're not going to find that silver lining because again, it's about balance, okay? All right, so... Let's get um, a card of advice, okay, on how to navigate through this time with the karmic energy, okay? So whether you're a karmic watching or um, a divine twin flame watching, either one, you can take this advice just the same, okay? So we have transformation. Okay, things are changing. And change is not always a bad thing. All right? You use the power of love to move through all the illusions and shift into an awareness. And that's what spirit wants from this karmic. Okay, move through the illusions of what you think you know. Okay, what you think you've experienced. What you think you feel. And shift into an awareness of what you actually have done, okay, um, of who you actually are. Shift into that awareness and let the transformation take over. That's what Spirit's asking of the karmic. But regardless, there will be a transformation that Saturn is bringing in. And this transformation is breaking those illusions, is shifting the energy to bring awareness true awareness and that's why a lot of truth is coming out right now such as um, the karmic finding their partner with another woman right that's why a lot of truth is coming out right now because um, again the goal is to shift into awareness into insight and spiritual growth it is not to punish okay 
So um, there will be transformations either way here. All right. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, please like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're feeling this energy, if you've actually started seeing this out of the Karmic Collective. Okay. Um, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.